सो हाई एवरी वन एज यू मस्ट बी नोइंग माइक्रोसॉफ्ट हैज रिसेंटली लॉन्च अ न्यू वर्जन ऑफ फाइव मॉडल्स दैट इज फाइव थ्री पॉइंट फाइव एंड द बेस्ट पार्ट बी इट इज नाउ रिलीज इन द मल्टी मॉडल वर्जन एज वेल दैट मीन्स इट वुड बी एबल टू हैंडल टेक्सट एंड इमेजेस बोथ नाउ एंड द बेस्ट पार्ट बींग इट इज क्वाइट स्मॉल इन साइज एज द एंटायर फाइव फैमिली हैज बीन जस्ट फोर पॉइंट टू बिलियन पैरामीटर्स सो दिस इज ग्रेट बिकॉज मल्टी मॉडल एलम्स आर यूजली क्वाइट बिग एंड लाइक हैंडलिंग दैम इन लोकल सिस्टम is quite tough i am i don't remember running any of the multi model llms on google collab and this would be the first one because the model size is quite small and is compatible so if you are looking for a resource friendly llm which is multi model in nature i think fire 3.5 vision can be your go to solution in this particular tutorial we would be running through its code and try to understand how we can use it So to get started, you need to pip install a few libraries. As you can see, NumPy 1.24.4, Pillow, Request, Torch, Torch Vision, Transformer, Accelerate, etc. You would be importing some functions. I think these are quite familiar functions if you have been using Hugging Face Transformer. That means Auto Model for Causal LM, Auto Processor, Auto Processor. We would be using for transforming the input that we are providing so you will be providing a prompt you will be providing a series of images so how this should be fed to the llm model the multi model vision model that would be done using auto processor pill input image so this is something for images now we are providing the model id microsoft fire 3.5 vision instruct now this is the important part where we are setting up the model so we are loading the model using auto model causal lm and this is the main part attention implementation equals to eager if you are using ampere C, uh, gpus then you can go with flash attention as well that would be faster now here comes the auto processor part where we would be loading the model id again and providing num props equals to 4 so why you can read the reason here if you are providing multi frame num props equals to 4 if you are providing a single frame image that would be 16 as told auto processor would be helping us to merge the text and the image uh, inputs that we would be giving into one prompt to feed it to the llm now once done let's see what we would be inputting so as given in the example by the microsoft team we would be loading up a slide share deck one by one and then we would be asking the llm to summarize it so if you want to see what we are inputting so this is the first slide this is the second slide and so on these are multiple slides that are present till 20 so i have been using just 5 for now and then we are opening all the images and creating a prompt as you can see here now we are providing the role as user and content placeholder plus summarize the deck of slides so placeholder is this now here comes the important part where we are using the auto processor if you remember there was an object that we set up we are providing the message Where we are providing the role in the prompt, tokenizer, and add generation prompt, and then we are again providing a combination of the prompt, the images that we have loaded using the URL, as you can see here, and then return tensor, and then you using CUDA. One inputs are set up. We are generating the generation arguments, number of tokens, the temperature to use, etc., and then generating the IDs, as you can see, model dot generate. After model are generating, we are removing the input tokens and then generating the response. So now you would be seeing the different uh, output that we got. So here you can see that the model size is about four point five. It is loading the first part as five GB, the other part is three point three five GB. Quite big model. As you can see, my disk is full after using GPU from Collab also. And here is the output that we got. So here you can see the model is able to summarize. the different slides that we have provided one by one as you can see the first slide was just the heading then an overview cloud computing services cloud service models etc so the summarization is correct it is providing you with vision capabilities the results are looking decent and i would suggest you to go for fire 3.5 vision because it is quite handy while deployment also you won't be facing much resource challenges and as the results are quite good i hope you try it out thank you so much